Hey guys, Ryan here from On Property, and today I'm answering your question How do you start your own body corporate? So, I've got an email here from Nick who asked, Hi Ryan, how do you start your own body corporate? So, a body corporate, in case you don't know, is the governing body that helps you manage a unit block or a um, group of townhouses, uh, basically a group of people that share common areas like driveways or gardens or elevators or pools, all of those different stuff. So if you are on a strata title and you are sharing with other people, then you're going to need someone managing the body corporate. Now that someone can be yourself or it can be a professional company that does it for you. However, it is not legally required that you have a professional company do it. So you can do it yourself. So I've done some research on this to find out how you can do it yourself and to take some of the steps. It is a very technical topic. So if it's not something that you're actually interested in, then I would suggest um, going through to another post. But if you are interested in running your own body corporate, this will give you a good overview. I won't go into the full technical details of everything that needs to be done, but I'll give you an overview of what you need to do. All right, let me get my notes out. So you, I said, as I said before, you can do it yourself, but you do need to be aware that you will be taking on some responsibility and liability if things go wrong or if you're not keeping up with legislation or your insurance laps. Uh, so there will be some personal liability if you decide to run this yourself. It can also be a lot of work. There is a steep learning curve and things that you need to know about running your own body corporate. So there's going to be a lot of time needed to be put in to understand how to do it. And then in the running of it, there's going to be time and management there as well. Uh, a great resource if you're interested is strataman.com.au forward slash DIY html and he has a do-it-yourself strata kit for people in new south wales it's about four hundred dollars so it's not super cheap um, but that will give you a kit to go through everything so the first things that you're going to need is you're going to need a chairman so this is the person that's running the show you're going to need a treasurer which is someone that's going to manage the finances from my knowledge the chairman and the treasurer can be the same person you're also going to need a secretary and this is a person that's going to minute the meetings that you have, whether you have them on an annual basis or whether you have them more frequently. So you're going to need someone to run the show, someone to manage the money and someone to minute the meetings. If you decide to do it yourself, you're going to need to understand the basics. So you're going to need to understand exactly what is common property and what is common property on the property that you are managing. What insurances do you need? Um, and you also need to get valuations done on a regular basis to ensure that these insurances are kept up to date. You need, ha you need to know how to comply with fire regulations. Uh, you need to know about the legal requirements for safety audits for the property. You need to know the difference between a sinking fund and an admin fund and how you manage that. You also need to know how to manage the body corporate accounts, the bank accounts and all of the finances. So there are um, quite a lot of things that you need to know about. You don't require specific qualifications to run your own body corporate in Queensland. However, I'm not as 100% sure if that's the same across every state. So that would be something that you would need to look into. One thing I want to say before I go on and um, start to talk about the things that are going to take a lot of your time, I want to let you know that from what I've been researching from the forums that I've been to and the websites that I've been to, it seems that running your own body corporate can work well if firstly you have a good relationship with the people and the other owners in your block. But secondly, it seems like for it to go really well, uh, one of the common requirements, not legal requirements, but just it's probably a good idea, is to have a lot of owner occupiers in your block. If you have a large percentage of people who own and who occupy in the block versus people who own it but rent it out, so people who are investors, then it seems to go better. This is because people who live there, 
probably take more pride in the common areas and and the unit block itself, whereas people who are just renting don't really see that stuff as their responsibility. They are renting, they do what they need to do, um, but really it's the responsibility of the owner to make that happen. So when you're managing it yourself, if owners are just investors, then they don't really care about it and they're not gonna do a lot to help you with the upkeep, well then it's, you're gonna be running it basically by yourself. And so that's probably gonna be pretty difficult for you and pretty time consuming, so it might be worth paying the fees. All right, so now let's have a look at um, some of the things that will draw your time and take your attention. So do you have the time to, this is something to think about, issue bills on time for the fees and ensure the money is paid. This means that you are going to need to follow up with the other owners if they don't pay their fees on time and ensure that they pay their fees on time. If they don't, then you're gonna to have to deal with that confrontation and those legal issues. You need to ensure that insurance is current and sufficient for the property, means, and that may mean getting a value in each and every year to ensure that your insurance is kept up to date. You'll need to arrange for an AGM, which is an annual general meeting each and every year, ensuring every owner gets sufficient notice and you need to ensure that the correct minutes are taken. So you may be the chairman and not the secretary, but you still need to ensure that the secretary is taking the correct minutes and that there's actually a secretary there to take those minutes. You need to have time to arrange maintenance to occur on the property when it's required, and you need to make sure that someone's on site when needed for the tradespeople to come through. Maybe tradespeople can come through and you don't need to be on site in some circumstances, but there will be areas where they're gonna need access to locked areas, and so if someone's gonna to have to be on site, it's probably gonna to have to be you, or you need to work that out with one of the other owners. Uh, you, need to, you need to be the one to deal with disputes. So when disputes happen, when there's confrontation, when people don't agree, and let's face it, when owners get together, they're not friends, they're not similar in many ways at all, there are going to be massive disagreements. So that's something you need to be prepared for, that you're gonna to have to deal with that. You need to deal with land registry and settlement agencies when a property changes hands. So when an owner decides to move on and decides to sell their property, you're going to need to know how to deal with the land registry, how to deal with the settlement agents. You're also going to need to have time and know how to deal with managing agents and managing tenants. So tenants are doing the wrong thing, you're going to be the one to deal with that and to make sure that they don't do the wrong thing and that they actually follow the rules. Uh, so there is a lot to learn. There's a lot that is going to take up your time. It can be done in terms of the legalities behind it and in terms of the forms you need to fill out and all of that sort of stuff. I would suggest, again, going to that stride, strataman.com.au forward slash DIY.html could be very useful to you. Um, the department at Fair Trading can be very useful to you if you find yourself in a difficult situation where you are running it. Um, so I haven't gone through the granular details of how exactly to set up your body corporate. And I've been very specific about that and I haven't done that because that would require so much research for me to know the granular details and it varies from state to state. So I wanted to give a good overview of what it's going to require, uh, but not so much that, um, you know, it would just take me forever to get through this video. So I hope that that has been helpful. I suggest getting on Google, doing some searching if you're wanting to set this up yourself. If you are desperate and you want me to create a kit um, that will show you how to do this, that is definitely something I would consider. I'm about to launch uh, a kit for owners who are leasing their properties themselves. So once I've done that, if the demand is there, I'm happy to go ahead and set up a body corporate kit to help people manage their own body corporate. But the market for that's gonna be so much smaller. It's gonna be a pretty expensive product, you know, a couple hundred bucks or something like that. But if that's something that you want, and you want me to go out and do the research for you, just get in contact with me, ryan at onproperty.com.au or go to onproperty.com.au forward slash contact and send me an email through the contact form there. So I hope that that's helped answer your question, Nick. Sorry that I couldn't go into full detail, 
um, but it should give you an overarching view. You can now assess whether or not you think you have the time and the stomach to go after this. If you still think it's a good idea, then keep pursuing it and I wish you the best of luck. Until tomorrow, remember that your long-term success is only achieved one day at a time.